Welcome to the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Bevan's Law, and I am here with Darth Human. Hello. And we are going to be uh, reviewing this map called Cat and Mouse, which many of you have been dying to see. This map is created by Darth Human. So, tell us about Cat and Mouse, Darth. Um, it took me seven months to make. <laughs> yeah, we know that. <laughs> Question is, why did it take so long to make? Because, uh... Well, in my last tutorial video, I showed uh, everyone how to get unlimited vehicles. That part was easy, but in this, I was trying to make this machine that had a 100% chance success to always take off the turret. And that's what took me forever to make this. I mean, if you think about it, if one guy gets the turret, then the game is ruined. Okay. Um, it always produces unlimited... Ouch. How did you how did you survive there? <laughs> uh, I body slammed him. Normally, when a mouse gets hit by a cat, they die fairly easily. Um, the mice are the ghosts, by the way, and the cats are the wraiths. Wow. So the, the cats, the wraiths are infected, which starts off with, what, two infected? Yeah, Okay. two so, wraiths. And the key thing, what, what Darth was saying, is they don't have turrets. Um, in Halo 3, in the cat and mouse games, they had turrets, and it made it, you had to play the honor system, and often people wouldn't do that. It wouldn't be honorable. So uh, in this this machine that he's created, that Darth created, is actually pretty cool. People cannot cheat because it, it rips the uh, turret right off and basically all they have are their um, boosters. So we're following Darth around here on his little ghost and you notice the terrain. I, one thing I love about this map is how Darth has utilized the terrain. Um, you'll notice that there's a some bumpiness, some up and down, stop and go. Um, and what he's right now he's on this little hillside we call UC's Hill. Uh, there's a reason we call it UC's Hill, you'll see a little bit later. But, um, yeah, so essentially run away from the cat, suh, because there will be many. And uh, here's how you point. If you're a cat, you get one point for every mouse that you uh, kill. Yeah, also when you're last man standing, you earn five points. So that's for the mice. If you're last man standing, you get five points. And then you also get an extra five points if you survive. Okay. Yeah. So it's possible ten points if you uh, are the last man standing and you make it till the, uh, what are they, four minute games? Yes. Okay. Ooh, wow. How did you do that again? See, Darth is just a pro at this map. That's why he spent so long making it. He, twice now I've seen him where he should have died or he, he either jumped over it. Uh, he didn't make it that time. Nope. He either oh. jumped over the, the cat or he jumped under the cat. Um, that time he ran out of boost apparently. So now let's look at it from the angle of the cat. Okay. And uh, you'll notice another thing about the terrain that I really like is, uh, you know, you can hide behind these big rocks or you can, uh, you know, plant yourself against the wall. There's lots of different tactics you can do that, honestly, we've played it a lot and you got a good glimpse there of uh, the machine that he was talking about. Those lasers they're firing, they do nothing except irritate the cat. Ouch. Nice, Darth. I didn't really boost that much right there. I just barely tapped him and he blew up. I was pretty lucky there. And th this is UC's this hill. This is UC's hill. And he just got a double kill on UC's hill. Oh, and then another cat comes and helps. Awesome. Um, the great thing about UC's hill, we even call it UC's hill because UC loves to just sit up there. UC's a guy that um, has made, you know, he was one of the people that made the uh, Lord of the Rings map. And he's also one of our regular... Uh, Testers. Testers. So, in fact, there he is. He's sitting on his hill. Watch this. Boom! Now we've buried him there. So it really is UC's hill. <laughs> Wonderful. So, uh, great, um, you know, great cat and mouse game. You know, you can play it over and over again, and it really doesn't get old. Um, there are, like I said, when you're the when you're the cat here, you're noticing that you, you're a lot slower than the mice. And in this version of the map, we're you're lucky because you're actually hearing two of us on the microphone and you're going to hear you're going to see two different versions of this map in this uh, this review this version is the one with rocks and with with um, you know different with, terrain with hills there's lots of places you can take cover and whatnot so you can boost but you end up slowing down because you go uphill and you go downhill and you have the slight chance of getting up, going under a wraith like what I right. did in the last when round. You, you, when the cat jumps over you <laughs> over pounce the mouse is what is what we call that right and, um, you know, you're looking around, you see, boom, boom, boom. There are some guys that are just naturally good at this game. I don't, you know, I I don't think they're doing anything special other than they're just really good at weaving in and out of the race, you know, with their ghosts. And 
it seems like the same two or three people are always right there competing for the last man standing. Um, you know, and, and it's not uncommon to see different people, you know, with 20, 30 points at the end of the, you know, the several series of the game. So, um, this map, um, in particular, is one of my favorites. Ooh. Ouch. How'd you do that? He's got crushed by two wraiths. Yeah. So here is the new, the other version of the map. And tell us how you created this map, because it's actually really clever thinking on how he did it. Uh, basically, it's in the exact same spot. Everything's in its same place, except I took out the rocks, and then I lowered the ceiling. And so, and I, of course, I had to raise the machine up that you know produces and destroys the wraith's turret. And uh, I had to ra raise the uh, ghost spawn area, but other than that, you just get this flat terrain. And um, so, so they're actually playing on the roof, is what you're saying? Yeah. Except you dropped it. Yeah. Awesome. Now the gameplay is different here, a little bit, because it's faster, in my opinion. Um, faster in the sense that you, there's not as much stop and go. You tend to slide, um, especially the race when yeah. they're when they're boosting. They, they don't lose uh, their momentum. They don't basically. lose their momentum, right? So they, you know, you can. One thing we should also point out that I haven't hadn't pointed out yet is that the cats have radar, the mice do not. Okay, so if you're in a ghost, you've got to constantly be looking. Boom! Ouch! Behind you, or to your left, or to your right, because if you don't, all of a sudden a cat could sneak up and pounce on you, especially yeah. especially in this version. I'd actually suggest is uh, what I usually do is I usually boost around the map, hide on the corners of the, uh, the that cliff there. And then um, I look around, make sure there's no wraith chasing me down. And when I when I have a spot to boost, that's when I boost. But uh, boom! How did you survive that? Now you see some expert weaving here. Now I should just say that we are the Halo Forge epidemic, and we are signing out. We're signing out. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>